Hello, this is David Hale with Tech Dive TV. Welcome to A Day in the Life. This is episode 63 of A Day in the Life, and today we're going to talk about a story about my mother. Now, my mother has been a baseball fan for the last several years, and even though she considers herself a new baseball fan, she's noticed a number of things about the game that don't really appeal to her. So she was saying for years that she wanted to write a letter to the commissioner of baseball, uh, listing things she didn't really like about baseball, and perhaps they could be changed. So I'm going to read her letter, and then we'll have a surprise ending. So now my mother's a very intelligent woman. She's been a, she was a secretary for years and years. So you know her letter is uh, perfectly typed. Everything is spelled correctly. The grammar is perfect. So. Let's go ahead and I'll read the letter to you. Uh, but I think we should need some, some theme music. So uh, let's, let's go with this. Here's the letter. This says, Dear Commissioner, I have some concerns about the rules of baseball. I'm a recent fan and have been very confused by some of the procedures of the game. Perhaps with your help, some of the following could be corrected or made clear. Spitting. There should be no spitting in baseball. It's disgusting, and the other sports do not put up with players who spit, and I have noticed that even in little leaguers are copying this disgusting action. No spitting. A no-hitter. During the time pitcher pitches a no-hit game, there are many hits. A hit is when a, the baseball and bat comes into contact with the ball. There must be a better description for this than no hit game. Perhaps a no base hit. Pitch outs. There should be no pitch outs allowed in baseball. If the pitcher and the manager feel that they're not up to dealing with a good hitter, they should not be in baseball. A sacrifice fly. Really? Do you actually think a batter would sacrifice hitting a home run rather than just trying to advance a player on base? Let's not kid ourselves. No batter hits a ball with the intention for it to be caught. A perfect game. A game is not perfect. If the pitcher pitches the ball to a batter and the batter hits the ball and the fielder catches it, the pitcher should not get credit for a fielder catching the ball. If a pitcher pitches an entire game without once having the batter hit the ball, that would be a perfect game. No other way should it be considered. Closer wins the game. When a team wins one of the last innings of the game, when the closer is pitching, if he pitches an inning with no runs, the pitcher is credited with winning the game. No credit is given to the players prior to this for doing their part throughout the entire game. This should not be the case. Foul balls. There are three strikes and four balls to a walk. Perhaps there should be a rule that each batter, when they're up, should have only five foul balls in a row. Sometimes they can be endless and this has, this has not been addressed. Thank you for your time and attention to this letter. Sincerely, and my mother signed her name. Well, here's a surprise ending. She got a letter back from the commissioner of baseball. That is really neat, you know? She wrote to the commissioner of baseball, and she got a letter back from the commissioner of baseball. Now, let's go ahead and read that letter. It says, Dear Ms. and my mother's name, I want to thank you for your recent letter and sending your thoughts. The office of the commissioner will be prepared to proact be pro I'm sorry. The office of the commissioner will be prepared, proactive, and well informed about any and all ideas regarding how we can improve our sport. As we consider potential ways to modernize in some areas, we will always be mindful of our game's great tradition. I believe that conversations about various subjects will be an important part of this process of developing worthwhile ideas for the game's future. Again, thank you for reaching out and sharing your enthusiasm for the game of baseball. We truly appreciate your loyalty. Sincerely, Robert D. Manfred Jr., 
Commissioner of Baseball. Really? That's what he sent? My mother had several salient points that, by the way, I agree with. They only make sense. And this is what he writes back? He should be a politician. Hmm. Well, this is another day in the life. You have a good day.